Welcome to Cooking at the College. Today's episode features recipes including Borsan stuffed lamb sliders, a BB&T salad, mushroom stuffed pork chops, and finally, shrimp stuffed strip steaks. Welcome to the stuffed episode. Welcome back to the stuffed episode. Let's go ahead and jump right in and start preparing the two stuffings for our entrees because we'll need to cook it and then cool it before we stuff the two proteins. So we'll start with our shrimp stuffing that's going with the strip steak, also known as a New York strip, also known as a Kansas City strip. It all just depends on where you are geographically of the name that you see on the menu. So we've got some shrimp that we've cut up here. It doesn't matter which size you buy, just kind of cut it up into bite size. Just adding a little bit of olive oil to the pan. We'll get that right in there. That's about eight to 10 ounces. This is a little bit of a Cajun seasoning. It doesn't really matter which one you buy, just there's several in the grocery. So we're going to hit that with a little bit of our Cajun seasoning. Cayenne, paprika, thyme, garlic, salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to hit it with just a little bit more of our salt, fresh cracked pepper. And we're really just looking to turn this to where it just turns pink. It's also going to cook inside of our strip steaks. See, we're getting a little translucent. And as you can see, this is going to be relatively quick, just a couple minutes. If you overcook shrimp, they're going to turn tough. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. And you're just going to want to set this aside. A little bit more of our oil. And now we're going to use a mushroom blend. What I have here is baby portobellas and bud mushrooms or white mushrooms. I've sliced that up. We're going to add that to the pan. And they absorb quite a bit of oil, so just kind of keep watching. It looks like I'm going to add a little bit more here. And this is something you could omit. I have found that several's out, several out there either love mushrooms or hate them. If you were to omit them, add a couple of the other things, maybe you know a little bit extra. Uh, we're going to use some Vidalia onion here. And this is a recipe that I made when I spent some time down in Vidalia, Georgia, which is right outside of Savannah. So definitely going to use that Vidalia onion some celery. These are all close to half a cup on your measurements here on the onion and celery. The mushrooms were about a cup. Here's some diced red bell pepper, half a cup again. A little bit of garlic, which I like to add once I get the other ingredients in so it doesn't scorch. When garlic burns, it gets very bitter. Let's do a little bit more of our Cajun seasoning here. And just let that sweat for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add some heavy cream. It's 
approximately three-fourths of a cup. And with the cream, we're just looking for it to reduce and thicken up a little bit. I'm gonna turn that heat down slightly. Cream will boil over as soon as you turn your back. As that reduces, we can start our second stuffing, which will fill our pork chops. Olive oil. We're gonna start with the assorted mushrooms again. Our buns and our portobellas. Also gonna add a little bit of that Vidalia onion. A little bit of our salt. A little bit of our cracked pepper. Once again, a little bit more oil because those mushrooms will just absorb it up. Now the mushroom is the star in this dish, well, next to our gorgeous pork chops, so not really going to omit them this time. All right. When you start to see the nice large bubbles, you know it's reducing. That's what you want to see. Now what I'm going to do now for the last couple minutes is add some chopped Roma tomato. I don't want to add it too early because I don't want it fully breaking down into a tomato sauce. So we're just going to stir them in. This is a full cup's worth here. And that's thickening nicely, coating the bottom. We'll add our shrimp back. And that one's going to be just fine. Back over to the mushroom stuffing. We're starting to get some nice color on the mushrooms. So at this point, I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of burgundy wine. That'll pull off any of the brown bits that were on the bottom. And we'll wait till that just about evaporates, which it's doing rather quickly. And this is gonna just give some, some oomph to those mushrooms, give it a little something extra. Burgundy mushrooms is a, a very popular accompaniment to either steaks or chops in most restaurants. We've got that flavor, but it's going to get stuffed inside, inside of the uh, pork. Now that we're barely coating the pan, I'm going to stir in a little bit of panko breadcrumbs. And this is about a cup's worth. We're also going to fold in some chopped pecans, or if you're down in Vidalia. Pecans. 
and then a little bit of fresh thyme. Finally, we'll hit that with a little salt and pepper. And just mix it all together here. We're really not trying to cook the breadcrumbs, the thyme, or the pecans, just mixing it in here right at the end. When we come back, we'll start our first course. Welcome back to Cooking at the College and the Stuffed episode. We're gonna go ahead and begin our first course, which is our Borsan Stuffed Lamb Sliders. I've got some ground lamb here. We're going to keep it very simple. We're going to hit it with just a little bit of the fresh cracked pepper. Our kosher salt. And we're just going to leave it at that. Our Borsan cheese, which is right next to our lamb, is a product from France. It's a triple cream cheese that it has a very buttery texture. Uh, usually it's also going to be flavored with some garlic, some herbs, some crushed black pepper. So that's going to be where our flavor comes from in this dish. We're going to mix that together. We're going to keep them relatively small because they are sliders. So just a couple ounces each. We'll go ahead and cut a little bit of the borson. See how it spreads exactly like butter? And just roll that around there. Every bite that you get from one of these sliders will be extremely creamy. We'll do that process again. I'd say these are anywhere from three to four ounces. Another slice. And our third and final time here. Just a little bit more. All right. Chefs like to work in odd numbers. There's something about the odd number look on a plate. So we're going to plate three today for you. We're going to go ahead and move to our grill. We've got an extremely hot grill, as you can see. And that's what you're going to want, some high heat. And it'll just take these a little bit of time here. Since they are sliders, they're going to move relatively quick on our grill. We're going to go ahead and give them just a little bit of a turn here. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and flip them now. Oh, we're losing one to the back. <laughs> 
Sometimes grilling is a little bit of a challenge. All right. Those are cooking up nicely. I've just rubbed a little bit of olive oil on our buns. We'll give those a quick grill mark. Very quick, we're talking 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. Now, to accompany our sliders, we've got our grilled buns. We've also got some roasted bell pepper. You'll simply put your bell peppers on the grill uh, let them get completely charred, and then I would place those in a mixing bowl and wrap it and let them sweat. After about 10 to 15 minutes, you can begin to peel them, break them open, get all the seeds out, and chop them up. A very nice product. You can also find it in stores already uh, roasted for you. I've got a little bit of arugula, and we're just going to make a simple vinaigrette, a little bit of olive oil, and then some type of acid. We're going to use lemon juice. And this will give it a nice and bright flavor. And as that comes together, I'm going to toss my greens in there. Nobody wants plain, boring greens on top of their sandwiches. And then we'll begin our assembly. Oh, that boursin's starting to just leak out. You know each bite's going to be creamy, as I was talking about. Some of our bell pepper, and I've just kind of julienned ours, if you would. A little bit of our greens, our arugula. You'll just kind of want to ball it up to get it to stay on there. And there you have it, our first course. Borsan stuffed lamb sliders, roasted bell peppers, and a little bit of arugula with a lemon vinaigrette. Welcome back to Cooking at the College. Now we're gonna start preparing our entrees. Our stuffings have cooked, they've cooled, so we can begin stuffing our proteins. Now I would use either a boning or fillet knife. Um, you need something sharp with a point so we can get in there and make our pockets. Here's our nice thick cut pork chop. I've taken that on the side without the bone and cut almost to the bone on the other side leaving that nice pocket. As usual we'll hit that with a little bit of salt A little bit of our cracked pepper. It's just nice to season everything. That way you know that all the flavors are there. All right, and we'll grab a little bit of our mushroom stuffing here. Got those Georgia pecans in there. 
Got our wild mushroom blend, some of the fresh thyme, our panko breadcrumbs, burgundy wine. All right, we've got that nice and full. Same idea with our strip steak. I'm gonna take it in the side without the fat. There's also a little bit of cartilage there. Stay nice and even. Now take your time. This is a process that takes, takes some learning. There we go, we've got a nice pocket once again. This time we'll grab our shrimp stuffing. And that had our celery, our bell peppers, our tomato, mushrooms, a little bit of cream. Very nice. That's gonna be a good one. All right, I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll head over to our grill. Now we're simply going to put a grill mark on these um, and as soon as we do that we're going to get them into the oven and let them finish cooking. Now that we've stuffed them they're so much larger that it's going to take probably 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. We'll go ahead and place these right on high heat. A little bit of salt and pepper for our steak. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a turn. And same with our chop. We're going to go ahead and flip these. Some beautiful grill marks. That nice high heat hot grill helps with that. Then we're going to pull them off and finish them in a grill. If you have a standard, just conventional oven, I would put it up on about four and a quarter. If you're cooking with convection, 400 should be plenty. Finally, we'll do a couple of tomatoes here to go with our steaks. We've got some standard slicing tomatoes. I cut off both bottoms just to make it stable. I've cut off the top also. I've got a melon baller here to scoop out the centers. It wouldn't be the stuffed episode without stuffing our sides. So I referred to this as the BB&T salad in the opening. And what that means is bacon, basil pesto, and tomato. So we've hollowed that out. We'll begin our second one here. You know, basil, pestos, and tomato, wonderful, wonderful flavors. Very nice for warm weather. All right, and for our stuffing, we're gonna take yet again some more of our Vidalia onion. Also just a little bit of shallot. Stir that around. 
a little bit of cooked chopped bacon. Or a lot. <laughs> Here's some of our pesto that we've made. And we've made this in previous episodes. Fresh basil, olive oil, garlic, Parmesan cheese. Meanwhile, I'm going to warm the tomatoes up on the grill. I'm also going to brine it up again with a little bit of that fresh lemon juice. This is a combination of both panko and just regular breadcrumbs. And finally, at the end yet again, we're going to add the tomato because we don't want it to break down. We're going to combine all of that. Oh, that's going to be nice. We move over to our grill. Scoop some of that in. And you're definitely welcome to do this ahead of time. And you're looking at two to three minutes tops on these tomatoes and you can rotate them, you know, every minute or so. I'd also recommend sticking them, you know, on the top half of your grill somewhere, you know, not directly over the heat. All right, let's check on those entrees. Perfect. Here's our strip steak. That's got our shrimp stuffing our thick cut pork chop with the mushroom stuffing. Each one's going to get one of those great grilled bacon basil tomatoes. I'm going to top those with just a little bit of Parmesan. And there you have it. The stuffed episode our Borsan stuffed lamb burgers with a little bit of arugula and the roasted bell pepper and the arugula was tossed in the lemon vinaigrette, our mushroom stuffed pork chop with a basil and bacon stuffed tomato, and then finally our shrimp stuffed New York strip steaks. Join us next time and see what's cooking at the college.